This video explains how to connect an AEMC instrument to a computer running DataView data analysis software. A connection is necessary to enable you to interact with the instrument through DataView. There are three types of connections for AEMC instruments. A direct physical connection between the instrument and the computer through a USB or serial cable, Bluetooth wireless connection, and LAN network connection. Different instruments require different connections. Some instruments can use two or more connection types, while others can only communicate through one type of connection. This video walks you through the basic procedures for configuring each of these connection types. For demonstration purposes, the instrument we will connect is the AEMC Power and Energy Logger, or PEL. This instrument can connect to a computer through USB, Bluetooth, or LAN. If you are interested in only a single type of connection, you can use the links in the description that accompanies this video to jump to the section of the video that describes your connection type. Before you begin, ensure that you have installed DataView and selected the appropriate control panel or panels during the installation process. Also ensure that the required communication and connection drivers are installed on your computer. These drivers are installed when you install DataView. The first connection type we discuss is USB or serial cable. This is typically used for connecting a single local instrument. Most AEMC instruments can use this type of connection, although there are some exceptions as we'll describe later in this video. The screen lists the AEMC product families that support USB and or serial cable connection. When you purchase an AEMC instrument that connects via USB or serial connection, the appropriate cable comes as part of the product package. As we mentioned earlier, for demonstration purposes, we will use a PEL, which we will connect with a USB cable. To begin the connection process, plug one end of the cable into the instrument and the other end into an available USB port on the computer. When you insert the cable, a message appears on the screen informing you that the drivers are being installed. When installation is complete, open the PEL control panel. In the menu bar at the top of the screen, select Instrument, and then click the Add an Instrument option. This displays the Added Instrument dialog. The first screen in the dialog lets you specify the connection type, USB, network, or Bluetooth, through which to communicate with the instrument. Select the USB option and then click Next. The next screen enables you to choose the instrument. The instrument drop-down list displays the PEL devices available to be connected via USB. The instrument to which you have just connected should appear here. If the instrument is not listed, ensure that it is properly connected to a USB port on the computer and that it is powered on. Also verify that the required drivers have been installed properly. This can be done using the device manager on your computer. If the PEL is listed in device manager under other devices, the driver for this instrument was not installed properly. You can reinstall the driver by opening the PEL entry in device manager and selecting the reinstall driver button. Note that unlike the PEL, some control panels require you to enter the correct port number for the instrument. You can obtain the port number for the instrument by viewing its properties through Device Manager. If the instrument appears on the list, select it and click Next. The control panel now connects to the instrument. When the connection is successful, the message, the instrument has been identified, appears. Click Finish to complete the procedure. The instrument now appears under PEL Network in the Navigation Tree frame. Click the instrument's name to view its current status in the Data frame. You can now view the instrument's real-time data, start and stop a recording session, download recorded data, change configuration settings, and perform other tasks on the instrument through the control panel. We will now demonstrate connecting via Bluetooth connection. 
Bluetooth is a standard for connecting devices over short distances through wireless technology. This is especially useful for connecting multiple local instruments to a computer since, unlike USB, it does not require a physical connection port for each instrument. The following eight EMC instruments can be connected via Bluetooth. Your computer must first be Bluetooth enabled. Some computers have Bluetooth connectivity built in, while others may require a Bluetooth USB adapter. When this adapter is plugged into a USB port and configured with the appropriate driver, the computer can communicate via Bluetooth. For AEMC instruments that can only connect through Bluetooth, such as the clamp-on ground tester model 6417, this adapter is included as part of the standard product package. For instruments that can connect through multiple connection types, including Bluetooth, you can purchase the adapter as an accessory. When the computer is Bluetooth ready, you can connect it to the instrument, which in our example will be Appel. The first step is to open the Bluetooth Devices dialog on your computer to pair the Appel with the computer. Some operating systems have different steps for opening this dialog, so consult your computer's documentation for instructions. Once the dialog is displayed, click Add a Device. A dialog box appears listing the locally available Bluetooth instruments. There may be several devices of varying types listed, depending on the location of your computer. Find the Pell instrument and click it. You are prompted to enter a pairing code, which for Pell instruments is always 0000. Some AEMC instruments may require different pairing codes, while others may not require a code. Consult the user documentation that accompanies the instrument for the correct code. After you enter the code, click Next. A screen appears informing you that the instrument has been successfully connected with the computer. Click Close to exit the dialog. To complete the connection, open the control panel and select Add an Instrument from the Instrument menu. In the Add an Instrument dialog, Select Bluetooth as the connection type and click Next. When the next screen appears, available instruments that can be connected via Bluetooth are displayed in the Instrument drop-down box. Instruments are listed by either their name or by their port number. If the instrument to which you are attempting to connect does not appear by name in the drop-down list, you must select the communication port to which the Pell Bluetooth connection is associated. You can obtain the port number by viewing the instrument's properties in the Bluetooth Devices dialog. Select the instrument and click Next. The computer now attempts to connect with the Pell. When the connection is established, a screen appears informing you that the instrument has been identified. Click Finish to exit the connection dialog. The connected instrument now appears under Pell Network in the navigation tree frame. Finally, let's look at connecting an AEMC instrument through a LAN network. This connection type allows you to connect multiple instruments over a potentially wide geographic distribution. You are not limited by distance as you are with USB and Bluetooth. Currently, the only AEMC instrument that can be connected over a LAN network is the PEL. Although LAN network connections offer significant advantages, they can be relatively complex to set up, depending on your network configuration and settings. For example, if your computer and the instrument to which you plan to communicate are on different networks across a firewall, you will likely need to consult your network administrator to obtain the information required to properly set up the connection. In our demonstration, both the instrument and computer are already configured and running on the same network. To begin, choose Add an Instrument in the control panel and select LAN Network as the connection type. You are prompted to enter the IP address of the instrument to which you want to connect. You can obtain the address directly from the instrument itself. The PEL 103 LCD display includes an option for displaying the IP address, as explained in the product documentation. 
You must also specify the port on which the PEL is configured to communicate. By default, the PEL uses port 3041. If the PEL is connected to the same network as this computer, you can use the search button to locate the PEL. When you click search, the searching for PELs dialog box appears. All PEL instruments found are listed. After you select the PEL, click Next. The control panel informs you when the connection is successful. Click Finish to leave the connection dialog. The instrument is now listed in the PEL network. This concludes our quick overview of connecting an AEMC instrument to a computer. Please consult our YouTube channel for additional instructional videos explaining how to use DataView to analyze recorded data and configure AEMC instruments.